We have Darcy's equation describing the flow through this porous medium. This equation is important because it's describing why we have this problem, why we're producing more water than oil. According to the Darcy equation, the flow rate will be proportional to the differential pressure times the cross-sectional area of the flow times the permeability in the reservoir. These three factors are then divided by the viscosity of the fluid and the length along where the differential pressure occurs, or the length of the flow path. This means that everything above the line is proportional to the flow rate, while everything below the line is inversely proportional to the flow rate. Looking at the equation like this, the simple mathematical statement it makes is intuitive and easily grasped. An increase in differential pressure will naturally lead to an increased flow rate, as fluids flow from areas of higher pressure to areas of lower pressure. And the larger the pressure difference is between two points, the larger the flow rate will be. An increase in the cross-sectional area of the flow path will also lead to an increased flow rate. And lastly, the higher the reservoir permeability, the higher the flow rate will be, as the rock system will be more susceptible to fluids flowing through it. Conversely, below the line, where the factors are inversely proportional to the flow rate, an increase in either the fluid viscosity or flow path length will result in a decreased flow rate. This is simply because high viscosity fluids don't flow as easily as thinner, low viscosity fluids. And because if a fluid's path of flow lengthens, then the fluid flow is met with increased resistance. But ultimately, the two most important factors describing the porous flow in a reservoir are permeability and viscosity. Firstly, because they show how more permeable zones tend to focus flow, leading to an imbalanced fluid flow along the reservoir. And secondly, that due to its high viscosity, the fluid of oil will have more difficulty permeating through the reservoir than the less viscous fluids of water and gas. Simply put, Darcy's law explains how the physics are against even horizontal production across heterogeneous reservoirs, and that they are in favour of producing water and gas rather than oil.